everyone you made it you're here and it's almost time for today's show before we get started in the chat let us know from where you're joining in um, you can also send us your questions for our special special guest snake sham and he'll respond to as many questions as he can and teachers parents everybody watching have your cameras ready because we are going to have a chance to take a selfie with our special guest snake sham Snake Sham is a snake enthusiast, a wildlife conservationist, and a lecturer from Mysore, India. Today, he'll be sharing his 40 plus years of experience retrieving snakes that have encroached onto human onto human properties. Uh, so, are you ready? <laughs> Hello again, and welcome to today's FLIP event. I'm Kamarpreet from Team FLIP, and we can't wait for today's story. Let's see who's with us today. It looks like we've got learners joining us from India, the UAE, Egypt. Wow, welcome everybody. All right, and now it's time. Let's meet our super special guest, Snake Sham. Snake Sham, over to you. Namaste, Unde Mataram. Dear friends, my name is Neksham. I am from Mysore. I started rescuing from 1977. Until today, I rescued more than 85,000 snakes off record. On record, I rescued 56,186 snakes until today. Just I am coming to the program. Before that, I rescued one checkered kill back. It was another cylinder. How much I know about the snakes? I will tell in English because I studied in Kannada language. What I am talking with you today, English is I learned from my children. Because an auto driver, I will drop children to school every day morning. I pick back them to home at evening. So, um, snake is a fascinating animal on the earth. The color and the movement and the size, it makes man fear. In our India, more than 275 species are there. In that, venomous snakes are very few that we call the big four venomous snake that is cobra, viper, saw-scale viper and cray. Another two venomous snakes are there. It is not living with us. That is one is king cobra. It lives in western guards. Another one sea snake. It lives in sea. Snake, it won't bite you unnecessarily. If you harm it, it will harm to you. Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When you step on the snake, if it get hurt, it will bite you. In the bitten place, we found two needle mark. In the venomous snake bite you. In the bitten place, we, we found two needle mark. The cobra venom, it's cobra venom, and the great venom, it spoil our nervous system. We call it as neurotoxin. The viper venom, it spoil our blood system. So we call it as chemotoxin. What is the first step for snake bite? Don't do anything. As soon as possible, we want to take the victim to the nearest hospital. Don't tie anything. Don't cut the place, and don't suck the blood from your mouth. It's it's a, it's not, it won't work. As soon as possible, we want to take the victim to the nearest hospital. Don't give them water or food because the cobra venom and the great venom is spoiling our nervous system. If you feed anything in his mouth, it will choke up in the center of the body. Please don't give anything. As soon as possible, within golden minute, we want to take the victim to the nearest hospital. Why we want to protect the snake? In our, in our India, nearly 30 to 40 percent of food grains are spoiling by rodents. So, owl will eat the rat, cat will eat the rat. When the rat will come out from the rat burrow, snake not like that. It will enter to the snake burrow, a uh, rat burrow, and it will swallow the rats. So, like this, it is saving our food by eating rats. So, we want to protect snakes. Shall we go for slides? Okay. So this is checkered kill bags. I uh, I got uh, 180 eggs. I put it in the uh, box uh, for this one. All come out. I, I got 180 
check 120 checkered kill bags and the time releasing time i got this photo it's a python and the cobra and my snake sham see around 3000 species of the snakes in the world around 200 species of snakes are there in india every year around two to four new species will be discovered only a few are venomous of which only four species are commonly known to be nitros near a human habitat known as the big four venomous snakes india records more than one lakh snake bites and 40 to 50 deaths are recorded every year non-venomous snakes this is a bomini worm snake it's the smallest snake in India. And the beaked worm snake. And the black headed snake, it swallows lizards and geckos. And the rat snake, it's a very good form of friend. Nearly 280 Ruthenian rats, it swallows every year. It's a very good form of friend. And the checkered keelback, it's a non venomous water snake. And the green keelback, it's also a non venomous snake. And see, the snake, it swallows, swallows the food 10 times bigger than its head. It won't eat, it will swallow. And this is a striped killback, it's a non venomous snake. And this is a bronze back tree snake, it's a beautiful snake, it's also a tree, it swallows lizards and golden lizards. And it's a trinket, it's a beautiful snake. When it gets when it gets hungry, sorry, angry, it will open mouth like this. It's a beautiful snake. And it's a banded racer, it's a non venomous snake, it's very move very fast. And it's a common cookery. It's also a non venomous snake, it comes in monsoon time, and it's a Russell's cookery. It is also a non-venomous snake. And the wolf snake is a common snake. Every house, because you will, every house is a lizard. It swallows lizards. It is a common snake in every house. And it is a bald wolf snake. See the difference between bald wolf and uh, common wolf. It is a white steps on the body. It is a yellow steps on the body. And it is a sand boa. It is a common sand boa. It is a non-venomous snake. It swallows uh, squirrels, garden lizards and rodents. And the Whitaker sand boa. This snake is discovered by Whitaker, Romanist Whitaker. So he put his name Whitaker sand boa. And it's a red sand boa. The people they will confuse the head and the tail. The people they will confuse the two headed snake. It's impossible. Uh, so this is a head and this is a tail. It's a non venomous snake. And it's an Indian rock python. It's a beautiful snake. We get in the forest. And the semi venomous snakes. See the snake. You can do visible. The snake is on the tree. It's a camouflage. It's a green wine snake. See, when it gets angry, so it will open the mouth like this. It's a green wine snake. And it's a brown wine snake. Until today, I rescued more than 85,000 snakes. I will get only one snake. This is a brown wine snake. And this is a cat snake. See the eye of the snake? It looks like a cat. So it's a common cat snake. When it gets uh, in the hunting time, night will crawl on the uh, this tail to the and it's some sticks. And say, ordinated flying snake. Don't fly. There's no wing for the snake. It will glide on the air to higher to lower tree. So it's a non venomous snake, semi venomous. And it's a hump nosed pit viper. We'll get in Kerala so many snake bites with this uh, snake. It's a semi venomous snake. It, uh, it's a camouflage with the leaves, dry leaves. And it's a Malabar pit viper. You will get only in coffee estate and tea estate. And it's a bamboo pit viper. So it lives on the bamboo. What's the meaning of pit viper? Under the nose, on small pit is there is a l'oreal pit. So it will absorb the heat from the pit. So we call it as pit viper. And dear friends, see in the whole world, the beautiful country map is India. In the in India, the Karnataka is the beautiful map. So why I'm telling? So because we are getting everything from the nature: food, water, light, energy, animals, everything. So we want to give first. Respect for the nature. Without nature, there is no future. Without the nature is the best teacher. Please give respect to the nature. This is my request. Don't spoil nature. Don't I will tell you, please plant the trees. And next, see. Next, what 24 air cooler works in 24 hours? The tree will work in one hour. Please save trees. Don't cut the trees. Save nature. And next, we want to give respect for parents. There's no substitute for parents. Please give respect to the parents. Next, we want to respect to the farmers because uh, because every time uh, when we are eating time, we want to remember farmer. Please give respect to the farmer. Next, we want to give respect for teachers. Without teacher, we won't learn anything. Please give respect to the teachers. Next, we want to respect to the soldiers. 
Next, we'll go for big four venomous snakes. Because it's a cobra, see the spectacle mark is there, there behind, it looks like an eyes. It's a spectacle mark. So it's a side view and it's a back view. This is a back view and it's a front view. It's a cobra, it's a highly neurotoxin. Next, what will happen after bitten by the cobra? 80% neurotoxin and 20% hemotoxin. And next, it's a white paw. It's a Russell's white paw. It's highly hemotoxin, 80% hemotoxin and 20% neurotoxin. What will happen after bitten by the white paw? See, the place will become gangling. After some hours, kidney will be failure. <coughs> after some hours, pituitary will be hemorrhage. <coughs> so the fang, the fang of the white paw. And next, it's a crate, common crate. It's having, it's a 12 times toxic than cobra. It is having neurotoxin, hemotoxin, cytotoxin, and cardiotoxin. The four toxins are there. It is 12 times toxic than cobra. What will happen after bitten by this crate? The pupil will lock. Next, this is Oscar Viper. On the head of this uh, Viper, you will see an aeroplane mark is there. It is smallest, fastest venomous snake in India. What will happen after bitten by this Oscar Viper? The blood will come through all nose, ear, tongue, ear, every, from the nose everywhere. So we are always careful. Next, what will happen after bitten by snake? The snake bite. See, go through this. What will happen? Next, longest venomous snake in the world, that is King Cobra. It lives in Western Ghat, Shumaga, Sagra, Gumbay, Dandeli, Dhanusa, like this. It's a beautiful snake. And see, the people, they are confused. It's a combat. It's not a mating. It's a combat. And next, this is a mating. And this is a combat. This is a mating. See, the eggs, only the snake will make a nest with the leaves and lay the eggs, that is King Cobra. See, egg is as uh, egg one is coming from the egg. It's a king cobra egg. And this is a juvenile king cobra. And the only king cobra it will swallow only snakes. Next, see the tongue. What is the help from the tongue? We will take smell through nose. Snake, not like that. It's having split at tongue, it's like an antenna. The rat and mouse, rat and the frog and other animals, it will release the mass from the body. It will follow the smell through tongue the smell will deposit on the tongue when you take inside on the roof a small organ is there that is the jacobson organ the smell transfer to the jacobson organ and it is transferred to the brain like this i will identify food place enemy male and female so we call it as chemical communication see rat snake <coughs> mating reproduction and this is the only three snake will give birth for young ones that is Vipo and uh, Sand Boa and Green Vine. These three snakes will give birth for egg ones. This is a Soskel Vipo with the babies. And the confusion between Python and Vipo. Russell's Viper and Indian Rock Python will get confused. Next, will confuse with Crate, Wolf, and Kukri. The upper one is Crate, it's a venomous snake. And Wolf and Kukri is a non venomous snake. And the shedding time, the eye color will become dull and will shed whole body. And next is the upper scale. Battery is running low. This is upper scale. And this is male sexual organ. It's having hemipenis. Snake is having hemipenis. And this is different mark, hood mark. I see different food marks. Thank you. Uh, over to Kamal. Over to Kamal. And my slogan is there. Don't kill, just call. Double nine eight zero double five double seven nine seven one number. Another number nine double four eight zero six nine three double nine. This is my slogan. Don't kill, just call. Over to Kamal. Uh. 
Oh, oh my God. I, I'm actually getting goosebumps when I saw all those snakes. Okay, you must be so brave. You are not just saving uh, people from snake bites, but you're also saving the snakes themselves. Uh, so seriously, hats off to you. And uh, we snakes are animals. We can't really predict how they are going to behave and uh, to be prepared at all times. Uh, seriously, uh, hats off to you, uh, Snake Sham. Um, and we're getting so many questions uh, coming in the chat. Uh, we'll get to all those questions, uh, but before we do that, let's take a selfie with a very, very brave snake sham. Uh, so everybody out there, get your cameras uh, ready and you can gather in front of the screens in your classroom or at home, wherever it is that you're watching from. We'll give you a few seconds to get set up. And uh, okay, so... Uh, We'll take, we'll get ready to take a selfie with Snake Sham. Okay, ready? Let's take some selfies. So I'm going to count three, two. That was wonderful. Thank you again for being there with us, Snake Sham. I hope everyone out there is having as much fun uh, as we are and learning a lot. Uh, we'd love to see your selfies, so do post them on Instagram, tagging Snake Sham. That is S N A K E W S H Y A F, or on Twitter by tagging Microsoft Clip. Uh, and now to your wonderful, wonderful questions. So uh, the first question that we have is. Uh, Okay, the first question that we have is from Archana, and uh, uh, she's asking, can snake actually be controlled by music? No. Snake is totally deaf. It will absorb only vibration because it's having one low real. Uh, what will happen? One quadrant bone is there. It will connect to the lower jaw to brain. It will vibrate when it's passing on the ground, that vibration. That's a low real, the, this one. So quadrat bone, it will vibrate like this. It will sense uh, the vibration. It uh, so totally snakes are totally deaf. You don't uh, react with the music. You don't impossible. Okay, so uh, now we know that snakes can't hear anything. Okay, so uh, they are just moving because of the vibrations. Uh, the next question that we have is from the STG Warriors. Uh, thank you for joining us today as well, STG Warriors. Um, your question is, we wanted to know what attracts snakes into our houses and backyards and how can we keep them away? Same question from me also. How do we save ourselves from snakes? It want to save from you, not from uh, not for snakes. Because we are taking all snakes place, we are trespassers, we are taking all its place. So what will happen it is coming to its place. You are constructed the house in their place. Okay. Because the because of three reasons, it will enter your compound. One is food and another water and temperature. Snake is a cold-blooded animal. In the summer season, it needs a cool place. In winter and rainy season, it needs a warm place. So in summer season, it comes near the wet place like washing area and near the flower pots. In rainy season, in uh, winter season, it needs a warm place. It will come near the shoe boxes under the pot, under the wet cloth like this. So please be careful when you are uh, walking behind your uh, house. Please close the door and paint door. If you open the door directly, it will enter to the house. We want to be always uh, search every day in the morning. If any rat hole is there inside your compound, if any rat hole is there, please close it. Otherwise, because of the rat, snake will come to your compound. You or uh, you, uh, um, you if, if there is no rat, the snake it won't enter your compound. Be careful about rats, not snakes. Okay, so uh, 
good suggestion over there okay we don't have to be as scared of uh, uh, snakes okay just ensure that our house doesn't have lots of rats okay so then the snakes won't come to feed on those rats uh, great advice we have another question which is coming from belgi and uh, there he's asking do snakes have nose okay she's asking us do snakes have nose it is having nose but will take only oxygen from the nose resembling one wind pipe is there through that that take will uh, take oxygen oxygen from the two holes the the smell it will take through tongue we will take smell through nose snake will take smell through tongue okay so the snake actually senses everything uh, gets to uh, taste stuff through its uh, tongue that's why it uh, continuously uh, takes it out <laughs> uh, <laughs> right uh, and uh, another question which uh, coming in uh, how can we snake proof our homes so uh, i guess uh, just like snake sham told us okay that uh, just ensure that there are no rats in your house okay so no rats and uh, then the snakes won't come there's no there's no snake have... ripper right uh, we have uh, another question how long was the longest snake that you have ever caught snake sham I rescued one python. Nearly it was nearly fourteen feet, and I I rescued one rat snake. It was nearly nine feet, and cobra and all it come five point five like that. But long snake is or uh, rat snake and python. Okay, so rat snake and uh, python were really long. And right. uh, another question: uh, Which is the most venomous snake that you've ever caught? So many snakes are there because. Uh, because I, I rescued what I am getting venomous the big four venomous snake in India I got I will get four but king cobra I rescued once in uh, food very long time but so many venomous snake I didn't see also because it is not in India out of country snakes oh, the black mamba is there so many is there I, how come I uh, see the black mamba and all in India so what I am getting venomous snake Cobra viper, swastika viper, great, and one sea snake. I never see the sea, sea snake. Sorry, I never see the sea snakes. Okay, another question which is coming from Divya. Uh, she's asking us what tool is used to catch a snake. So I'm only, curious. Only one. That is how I will rescue the snake. I'm having one hook is there. That is called we will call it snake hook. I take out the snake from the hook and I put it in the box. But so many people they use a clutch. It is very dangerous to the snake. What will happen if they use the clutch? What will happen? They will press it. If the bone is very delicate, if they press back side, the bone will dislocate it. Please don't use clutch. Use clutch. Clutch. Please use hook and back or box. Okay. Uh, now this is a question. Uh... Okay, coming from Vineet, and uh, Vineet is asking us, okay, we often hear there are some trees or plants which harbor snakes. Uh, is it true? No, there is no reference. If there one plant is there, we we'll call it as Nagda Legida. So, what will happen? I rescued so many snakes on that plant, only coiled, it won't work. And uh, I think the last question that I'm going to be taking up is uh, from the STG Warriors. And they're saying, have you ever been bitten by a snake? Can you share the story behind that? Yes, tell us. I got four times bitten by snake. And three times cobra and one time swastika viper. What happened? I went to one house. They called me to rescue a snake. I took my auto. I went there. I asked the story. The child, three years child was playing the ball. The ball entered near the bush. Suddenly, one cobra from the rat hole it came out. And suddenly, they called me. I went there. So, I was digging the place. I caught a I caught a cobra because on that time it was a pregnant. When I was put it put it inside the bag, I got bitten by cobra. Suddenly, his his name is very small. His study is this much. It's a four or five PhD. What he did on that day, he put 100 rupees to my pocket. He told me, suddenly you go to hospital. What I did, I put 101 rupees to his pocket. I told him, you please give the chocolate to a child. And suddenly I rushed to the hospital. I take an anti-snake venom. 
on that day to this short time he the people the the person he never came to the hospital and he would never make a message also on the time pager was there not mobile now we saw health he didn't ask me anything after discharge directly i went to his house he was not there his wife was there i asked her where is the person after bitten by the snake from my house he didn't take care about my life what i will do she told she told me suddenly he got in uh, work to mandya event there i asked him if the snake has bitten to your child what he was doing he sorry sir don't say say sorry next time if any person come to your house for your help if any thing happened to him please take care about the person i am no problem because i am having uh, so many doctor friends are there jack shaker virana goda padmanabhan joshi they treated me very well and whole staff care hospital staff they saved me i am grateful to them the people i will tell all people if any person come to your help if you get any problem any accidents please take them to hospital For who is having humanity he is a human being this is my request um, thank you for sharing that story with us uh, seriously we need to be uh, human beings um we need to uh, show some kindness show some humanity and help people in need um thank you so much uh, for being there with us today uh, snake sham uh, before you leave us i have one more question um, and this is coming from divya uh, what is the safest way to dispose of a snake come oh, back um if when you're catching a snake okay how would you dispose it off uh, where do you leave it what i will do see i'm getting so many calls now i what i'm the rescue the snake non venomous snake i would release it in my friends uh, big big forum is that 10 acres 20 acres like that venomous snake i release for from the people because my slogan is snakes are not as poisonous human beings because the rescuing the snake is very easy the fighting with the people is very tough see if i get a call uh, within no time they used to be come com- coming or you coming or you coming it is very problem in the traffic and next until today government has not helped me anything still i am doing this work so i am requesting the people don't kill just call if any snake enter your house please call snake rescuers and rescue the snakes they were don't worry about uh snakes because snake is not your enemy snake is your friend who is your enemy is your close friend is your enemy uh i'm uh, i'm just going to uh, sh- uh share with you okay what we need has just shared okay that uh, snakes are a part of our ecosystem and uh, seriously hats off to you snake sham that you're saving snakes every single day um and uh, and as we uh, as we wind up for the day uh I just wanted to uh, uh, thank you so much for being here with us, okay, for spending time with us, and for inspiring all of us with your wonderful, wonderful stories and this um, so and such important information. Thank you so much, uh, Snake Sham. Um, any oh final God. words that you want you want to last, uh, give last, the audience? Last one. With? Last one. My my own signature is there. I will do the signature. Please, I'm 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 requesting you all. who are uh, seeing this program please give respect to the nature without nature there is no future so finally this is my signature namaste uh that was absolutely amazing and uh, now all of you who are watching in today snake sham has put together a flip topic that you can use with your students right after this event or assign it to your class as homework so you need to head off to aka.ms/sham that is s h y a m i'll just drop that uh, in the chat um, and even though we are wrapping up for today we have flip events every week so head off to aka.ms flip events to find an adventure that sparks 
your curiosity. And uh, that's it for today. I'm your host, Kamal Preet. And on behalf of Flip and our amazing, amazing guest, uh, the super brave Sneak Sham, thank you all for spending your time with us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.